Hello, Earth sign, Virgo, Virgoin, Taurin, and El Capitan. This is a pop-up love reading for you. Uh, okay, so yeah, pop-up love reading for those of you who are new. This is um, this is this these readings are designed for those people who are married and relationships, looking to be in relationships, dating people who are in love, people who still believe in love. So if you hate love, it's probably not going to resonate with you. Or if you're single, it's not probably not going to resonate. We'll see what's popping up. This is for everyone. If you want to get a personal reading, please check the description box. I am doing emergency readings today only for those people who have been waiting three days or more for their reading, especially those who ordered a reading at the beginning when I first started up the Patreon thing. Emergency readings for you. For those of you who want to order new readings, go ahead and I guess. Um, also, for those of you who are asking me uh, additional questions because you guys uh, want additional help because you guys up upgraded your membership, I will get to you today as well. So emergency readings all day for people who have already purchased. If you're getting a reading, if you're purchasing a reading today for the first time, you probably won't get it back today. Just saying. All right, let's see. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, El Capitan. What's popping up for you in love? Let's see what pops up. Hopefully not my boob. All right, let's see. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, El Capitan. What's popping up for you in love? What is popping up? Okay, the moon card. It could be a Cancerian, but I'm getting your emotions. Okay, so I'm getting the phases of the moon. Moon is Sagittarius. Yeah, wow, we have the Ten of Cups. I'm getting moon in Piscean. So you could be dealing with a moon in Pisces or someone who's a Pisces rising. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, we have the star card. I'm getting to this person's highly influential. All right, inspirational. Someone, someone's in the public eye, an influencer. Yeah, three of pentacles. I'm getting you're dealing with a YouTuber or a blogger. Definitely somebody on social media. Yeah, we have the three of swords. The magician and then we have the five of wands okay so I'm, I'm getting what's popping up for you in love i'm getting a breakup because, I, because the, the, the three of swords is here so i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting you're emotional about something or so i'm getting you're crying because something did not work out or something's not working out for you right now you could be crying because you miss your ex or you, you could be crying over a breakup of course okay I'm, I'm getting i'm getting like somebody here definitely wants to break up but someone someone does not know how or somebody is very conflicted about how someone's like no i can't break up no let's just work it out but i'm getting like somebody's very cruel to you somebody makes you cry so i'm getting like somebody breaks your heart on maybe intentionally because with the magician and the three of swords i'm getting, i'm getting like somebody says very hurtful things to you on purpose to see you cry to break your heart to hurt you somebody's very hurtful and they don't care. I mean, I mean, this is this is somebody's way of like keeping keeping control over you. But with the magician and the ten of cups, yeah, I'm getting like somebody is manipulating. I'm getting like somebody's manipulating your sexual energy or your emotions. Just period. What is the five of wands? What is the five of wands? I'm getting to like somebody may say something very hurtful towards you because you didn't you didn't give them something or it's like somebody was wishing that you do something and you're not going to do it you decided not to so I'm getting like somebody may say something hurtful towards you like I never loved you or I don't give a fuck about you anyway something hurtful all right let's what's the five of wands yeah we have the strength card yeah but I'm getting you're not going to argue I'm getting you're not going to go back and forth with someone you're like look I'm not going to go back and forth with you period it's over I'm done that's it period that. Yeah, so we have the we have the strength card and the swords. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting like somebody wants to argue, somebody wants to fight. Someone, you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We ain't, we ain't doing that shit today, homie. Period. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna fight with you. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm getting you're not gonna give somebody your energy. Like just fuck it. Like I'm not gonna argue with you. Fuck it. Yeah. So because I'm I'm kind of getting like somebody's trying to antagonize you or somebody's trying to get a reaction out of you with the three of swords. Someone someone's like picking at you like. Yeah, but I'm getting like it's not, yeah, someone is trying to hurt your feelings. I'm getting to like someone's trolling you because they're stuck on you. Yeah, yeah, we have the three, we have the queen of swords. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically getting you're cutting off an air sign, just period, or an air sign is cutting you off, just period. I'm getting a Libran. I'm getting a breakup here. Yeah, the queen of pentacles, I mean, the king of pentacles, there you are, earth sign. I'm getting you're cutting a Libra off or a Libra is cutting you, cutting off or a Libra is flat out ignoring you or something. What is the magician? But I'm definitely getting somebody that does not want to argue about it. Somebody does not want to have a discussion. Someone does not want to talk about it, period. I said what I wanted to say and that's it. I'm getting like, there, there's no, there's no point of arguing or fussing or anything like that. I'm getting like somebody, somebody was very hurtful towards you though. And you have nothing to say to this person. What's the magician? 
What's the magician? But it's, it's almost like I'm, I'm getting like instead of somebody apologizing to you, somebody just wants to argue about it. You're like, look, man, shut the fuck up unless you're saying sorry. Like if you're not saying sorry, I have nothing to say to you at all. What's the magician? Yeah, because I'm getting like somebody, they they want to go back and forth. You're like, no, nah, I'm not about to do that. The magician card? Yeah, the ten of wands, a whole bunch of talking and shit. Yeah, I, I, I literally see you doing like this. You're like, yeah. Shut your ass up. All you do is talk. What's the what's let's go around again? What's the moon card? Ten of Cups. And I'm getting I'm getting like somebody talks a lot. Somebody talks too much. Or like somebody's always saying some hurtful shit towards you. I'm getting like somebody's mouth is like reckless. Like whenever somebody gets mad or I'm getting like somebody's very petty, very tit for tat. Like somebody wants to fight, somebody wants to argue, somebody wants to get a disagreement. Somebody likes the back and forth tit for tat bullshit. Because I'm getting like some I'm getting like somebody likes to hurt your feelings. Somebody feels powerless. But I'm getting like somebody keeps talking in circles and you're not you're not responding back and not saying anything. Somebody keeps calling you, texting you, blowing you up, or somebody just keeps saying that repeating themselves over and over again. I'm getting you're not listening, you don't care. So I'm getting like somebody just starts saying a whole bunch of hurtful shit towards you or trying to argue with you or something like that. What's the what is the moon, ten of cups? Yeah, we have the world card, yeah, it's over. Yeah, the moon card, ten of cups. The Page of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing two people break up here. I'm just seeing a situation end. I'm getting it's over. It's been a, it's been a very stressful situation. It's been a very try, it's been a very trying situation. I'm getting you were hoping to domesticate this person, or you were hoping that this person would be your spouse or share a home with you, or. But I'm getting two people are at odds here. I'm getting you at odds with this person. Yeah, the five of swords. Yeah, a lot of mind games, tit for tat, petty energy, competition. I'm, I'm getting like the relationship that you're currently in. I'm getting, I'm getting this person's competing with you. It's like somebody always has to be right. I'm getting to somebody argues for the sake of arguing an endless battle of wits all day, every day. It's always the same thing because somebody's very stubborn. Somebody takes things very personal. Somebody has a huge ego. Yeah, I'm getting like when somebody can't manipulate you or when somebody can't get their way, when their tricks don't work, they get mad and they want to argue with you and shit. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, yeah, when somebody can't get sex, I'm getting, cause I'm getting like somebody wants sex from you desperately and they cannot get it. I'm getting, I'm getting you continue to resist this person over, over, over and over again. Time and time again, you resist them every single time. I'm getting you have no interest in having sex with them or being with them like that at all. I'm getting you have no interest in being somebody's wife or husband or girlfriend or anything. I'm getting you just have no interest in sleeping with this person. I'm getting maybe you're not attracted, but I'm getting I'm getting every time somebody can't get their way, they like give you a hard time or they argue with you. Yeah, Ace of Wands, the judgment card. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody is realizing that you don't want their D. That you're like, look, man, I don't want I don't want your dick. I don't want to have sex with you. Can we just please be friends? Like, I don't want any type of intimate relationship with you at all whatsoever, period, dot, period, point blank. Yes, because I'm getting like somebody's not getting the hint. It's, it's just like, look, I know. But I'm, I'm getting like that that makes someone angry. Like when you say no or when you won't, get, you won't give them their way, someone does not like that. What's this combination? Or when you don't argue with them, when you won't go back and forth, someone does not, someone doesn't like that. Somebody takes it personal. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm just seeing somebody move on. I'm getting like somebody's relocating. Somebody's going back home. I'm just getting a, I'm just getting a situation that's over here. Okay, what's the moon card in the world? I'm getting like, I'm getting, you're cutting somebody off or uh, the breakup is happening as we speak or whatever. What's the, what is the moon card? Yeah, the five of cups. I'm definitely getting a breakup or the breakup already happened. Yeah, somebody just plays too many mind because I'm getting to like somebody is too combative. Somebody argues with you about every single thing. I'm getting you can't have a difference of opinion or anything like that. Somebody constantly argues with you. It's always a fight. It's always a battle. It's always something. I'm getting so like somebody's very hurtful. Yeah, the judgment, justice card. It could be a Libran, but I'm getting this is your justice. I'm, I'm just getting a situation is just very stressful. It's not worth it. What's this? I'm getting, you're, you're, I'm getting you're going in circles anyway with this person. It's not going anywhere, but in circles. What's this combination? Yeah, we have the five of pentacles. I'm getting, I'm getting a breakup. I'm getting, I'm getting something is not what it's cracked up to be. Or I'm, I'm getting, if it's not a breakup, I'm getting your, I'm getting you're not going to be speaking to someone anymore. Or are you going to be disappointed? I'm getting you're not going to be dating them anymore. Whatever this is, I'm getting it's a no. 
Like someone's like, yeah, this is not working. This is not working for me. I'm, I'm stressed out. You're doing the most. Or somebody takes shit too personal. Somebody could be very insecure. Definitely getting that. I'm also getting to like somebody's just not willing to provide for you. Somebody just, somebody will not provide for you or somebody is not serious. But, but I'm just getting like whatever this is. I feel like somebody's moving out. Somebody's relocating. I just feel like somebody is leaving. Some, somebody feels stuck. Okay, what's this combination? Yeah, we have the Empress. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting someone's going to move on with someone that they have been watching online. I'm getting like somebody is actually relocating to be with someone. I'm getting like somebody's going back south or somebody's going to a place where it's hot all year round. Yeah, because I'm getting like somebody, I'm getting like somebody, somebody went back home to be with their baby mother or to be with their empress, but I'm getting it's just not working at all, period. It's not. And I'm getting like somebody, I'm getting somebody's coming back. Someone's like, yeah, this is not working. I'm, I'm, somebody could be coming back to be with a Libra. I'm getting you could be leaving someone to be with a Libra or something like that. Or you're leaving a Libra to be with somebody else. Or maybe you're leaving a Libra to be with a Libra. I'm, I'm getting Libra here a lot. What's this combination? Because I'm, I'm getting like somebody is stuck. Somebody has a, 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 a baby mother here and a child that, that they're trying to work things out with. But the shit is not, the shit is not working at all. All right, what's this? What's the page of pentacles? Yeah, we have the queen of cups. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, there is somebody here who is in love with you and they're with somebody else. I'm getting too, like somebody else has a wife and child or somebody, somebody has like a established family, but I'm not, I'm not getting marriage though. Um, I'm getting like somebody's coming back home or somebody's coming back towards you because it's just not working out with somebody else, just period. Yeah, we have the three of cups. So I'm getting you're dating someone and just shit is not working. Or you're, you're, try, you try, you're trying to reconcile. You're trying to work something out with, with your empress or with this person. But I'm getting it's too many mind games, too much competition. It's too much childy, childish, petty shit. What's the, what's the five of swords? I'm getting like somebody's mad because somebody's beautiful. Somebody's mad because somebody's influential. Somebody's mad because somebody's in the public eye. I'm just getting like somebody, somebody feels jealous of another person here and it's, it's ruining a relationship. The relationship is, 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 is being destroyed because of jealousy or competition. So I'm, I'm, maybe you're a lesbian because I don't really see the, the point of a man competing with a woman at all. That's what's going on. What's this combination? That is, that, um, is very questionable to me. When a man competes with a woman, that is questionable. That's something I feel like you should question. Um, if a man is always downplaying your success or um, if a man is always like downplaying something that you're doing, if, if he seems to be jealous or competitive or I feel like I feel like that's a questionable man. That is very peculiar behavior. Um, I feel like if, the, if there's somebody doing this to you, I feel like you need to question somebody's sexuality. What's the five of swords? Because there's absolutely no reason at all why a man should be competing with a, mo a woman. Even if you guys are in the same field. I don't know. Real masculine energy, they don't compete with. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know any like real masculine men who compete with a woman. Or like the, Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like you're building something and they're building something too. But they don't want to build with you. They want to. They want to compete. They want to. They, I'm going to build mines over here. You build yours over there. I, I'm going to build mines first. I'm going to build mines better. It's going to be faster. But it's just like, okay, cool. You you build yours. I build mines. What's the competition? Yeah. So I'm getting like somebody. This is not a healthy relationship at all. I'm getting like somebody wants to build separately from you to see who does it better. You're you're dealing with a. Um, you're dealing with like an insecure, like a mediocre type of energy here. Someone's very insecure, mediocre. You are obviously a better person or you're obviously a better entrepreneur because somebody feels like they have to compete with you. I'm going to build my empire. I'm going to build my empire better than yours. You have one. I'm going to build one too. I have that too. Like someone's always, someone's trying to, someone keeps trying to one up you, but I feel like you're dating someone who is very envious of you, who wants to outdo you, outwork you. But I, I'm getting like, you don't compete. You're like, man, can you, can you stop arguing? Stop competing. It's not that serious. I'm not competing with you. But I'm kind of I'm kind of getting this person that's competing with themselves because five of pentacles, five of cups, I'm getting you're not even paying any attention. 
Like you're trying to build your empire. You're trying to build something for yourself. I'm getting your attention is not even on this person. You're focused on your career or your goals. But I'm getting like somebody still feels like, yeah, I'm going to, or I'm getting to somebody could be trying to do something just to get your attention. Like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start this channel. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to start doing this. This person is going to think I'm successful. They're going to reach out to me. So I'm, I'm kind of getting like somebody's only doing something to impress you or somebody's only doing something to compete with you. But I'm getting they're not really competing. They're because they, they're coming off very sad and insecure and kind of stuck or conflicted. So I'm getting like somebody's not really happy on the inside. They're just, I don't know what this person is doing. What's this combination? But it's almost like somebody wants you to acknowledge them, but I'm getting you're not because it's petty. Yeah, we have the, we have the full card. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's doing something new to get your attention or somebody's doing something new. Somebody's starting a new project so that you can so that they can impress, impress you. I'm getting you already know why somebody's doing something. You're like, yeah, I know why you're doing that. I still don't care. But do you though? I'm getting like, yeah, okay, do you. Don't do it because of me though. Okay, what's this combination? Because I'm getting like somebody's only doing something just to make you jealous, but I'm getting you're not jealous at all. Period. It, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like, why would you be? Okay, yeah, we have the nine of wands. I'm getting, I'm getting you're more irritated than jealous. Cause I'm, cause I'm getting you're dealing with someone who's very insecure. I'm getting that turns you off, Earth sign. Like somebody's insecure, somebody's not sure of themselves, or somebody only does things when they have an audience. That's a turn off for you. Somebody's fake. I'm getting that turns you off. I'm getting to you know somebody like a book. I'm getting, I'm getting you know this person's habits. I'm, I'm getting you know everything about this person. But I'm getting, I'm getting you know that this person is insecure in real life. You're like, yeah, I know you, I know you really insecure. I know that. Like, I know the real you. You're insecure. But yeah, somebody comes off as very happy. I got my imprints. Like we got a baby together. But I'm getting, you know that you know that you know that you know the real. You're like, yeah, okay, you happy with you happy. Okay, right. What's this combination? Somebody really feels empty and voided on the inside. What's this combination, please? Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so I'm getting you don't talk to this person, okay? Basically, um, I'm getting there's someone here that you don't talk to that you wish you could. Or there, there's somebody's wishing that you would reach out to them. Someone, someone's someone's going to do something in order to get your attention, in order to impress you. Be, because I'm getting like somebody knows that you are career-oriented. Somebody knows that you're about your money. Somebody knows that you're about goals, ranks, accomplishments, careers. Somebody knows that you are very established, distinguished. Somebody knows what you like. You like other people who are established. You like other people who are goal-oriented. You like other people who are doing big things. You like other people who are entrepreneurs. I'm getting somebody who knows what you like. It's not them. So I'm getting, so I'm getting like somebody's going to do something. Someone's going to take a leap of faith and like start something. I'm getting a new project because they want you to notice. But you're like, oh my God, man, stop. Just be you. Stop being fake. What's the, what's the nine of wands? Yeah. What's the nine of wands? I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting, that's what this is. I'm getting like, I'm getting your turn off because someone's insecure. I'm getting that as a, I'm getting that is a major turn off for you. Or are you, you're turned off because someone does not, someone does not think for themselves. Someone's like, it's like someone's copying you or someone's only doing something because other people are watching. I, I'm getting that, I'm getting that's really like, that really turns you off. Like what, what's the nine of wands? Yeah, the, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting like you have no, you have nothing to say to this person, Earth sign. I'm getting like you are cold as ice towards them because they're fake, they're phony, they're insecure, and that's that's not cool. You know, you, you don't. I'm getting you don't fuck with that. You like, man, just be your own person. Stop being insecure. Stop doing shit because people are watching you do it. Yeah. So, but I, but I'm getting like this is karma. I'm getting it's a karmic relationship. All right, someone does not have their own mind. I'm getting to like somebody's easily intimidated. Yeah, the nine of swords. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be any sign, but I'm getting like somebody intimidates you. I'm getting you're walking on eggshells. It's almost like somebody's telling you, not, not somebody's telling you, not, don't talk to that person. You're like, you're like, okay, I won't type shit. Or like somebody's telling you like, yeah, you should... You should do this to make them mad. And you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. Whoever's giving you advice, 
they're stupid too. They're insecure too. I'm getting, I'm getting whoever's giving you advice. They're jealous of your ex or they're jealous of the other person or I'm getting both of you guys are jealous of the same person. But I'm getting whoever's telling you what to do. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about either. They're jealous and insecure too. So if somebody's telling you to leave someone, they don't know, what, they're insecure, they're jealous. Or if somebody's telling you to do something nasty towards someone, I'm, I'm getting you're dealing with like someone who's like a low life or, a, or a, someone who's lonely, someone who does not have anyone. So they're, I'm, getting, I'm getting like somebody's giving you bad advice about someone that you love. But you feel obligated to listen or you feel like this person is credible in some way. Yeah, nine of swords. Yeah, we have the, uh, the will of fortune. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle card. Let's see what comes out. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's see. Oracle card. Oracle card, please and thank you. I'm getting to if you're talking to a friend that you feel like has your back, they don't. You could be telling this friend like, yeah, I want to get back with my ex. I miss them. I want to be with them. I want to marry them, have kids with them. Someone's like, no, don't get back with them. Fuck them. Don't go back to that person. They don't, they don't, they don't love you. Yeah, that, this person, they're jealous. Period. Yeah, we have liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. Yeah, I, I, feel, like you're, I feel like you're with someone who's, who's negative. They're very pessimistic. They give you bad advice. I'm also going to tell somebody is jealous. Period. I'm getting this envy of you. Somebody's jealous of envy. Jealous of you, of your relationship, of this other person, whatever. Because I'm getting when you tell someone, like, yeah, I feel so lonely without this person. I miss them so much. Somebody just gives you bad advice. Like, man, fuck that person. Man, fuck them. Get somebody new. Like, I'm getting like somebody's not a real friend. Someone does not give you sound advice. Just period. I'm getting you want to reach out to someone, but someone, someone's like, no, don't, read, don't, don't talk to them. Don't reach out to them. Don't give in. Don't be a sucker. Who the fuck is this? A lame, a fucking lame ass person. Somebody's a lame. Yeah, because they don't have anybody or because they want you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.